Big news coming in from the sports fraternity. Wimbledon 2024 champion is Carlos Alcaraz. A young man, all of 21 years of age, uh, Carlos has managed to and win his second Wimbledon title. It's a back-to-back -back victory, clearly, for him. And remember, to de defeat Djokovic in three straight sets clearly is history in many ways as well. Let's go across immediately to India Today sports editor Nikhil Nas joining me for the latest. Uh, Nikhil, this is quite incredible. How were the sets like? What exactly happened? And a second victory coming in for Carlos and against Novak Djokovic. Well, that's right, uh, Pooja. Even now, you'll have to say, remember, uh, Carlos Algaraz was uh, the defending champion uh, of Wimbledon. Yes. Yet he went into this final as the underdog. That's simply because of the kind of reputation that Novak Djokovic comes with. Uh, remember, the most Grand Slam uh, for a men's player in the history of tennis belongs to Novak Djokovic. Uh, he stands at 24. And this is only the fourth Grand Slam title that Carlos Alcaraz has won. If my if my memory serves me correct, since 2011, uh, that's the year, and why mm. do I refer to 2011? That's the year we saw the birth of Novak Djokovic 2.0. 2011 is the time that he started dominating the tennis arena. From 2011, and we're sitting in 2024, 13 years later, I cannot see or I cannot remember any player dominate him on the court like Carlos Alcaraz did today. So, it's not that Novak Djokovic hasn't lost in these 13 years that I'm mm. talking about, but I cannot remember any player dominate him like this and beat him in a final in straight sets like Carlos Alcaraz did today. Let me just put it into perspective yes. what I'm talking about. We have a 21-year-old versus a 37-year-old. The difference between their age is 16 years. 16 years is how old Yamin, Lamin Yamal is the superstar of Euro. Euro. So that's the gap between Alcaraz and Novak Djokovic in terms of age. So this is this young gun who's really coming onto the stage versus the king, the king that is on the tennis court and the way that he's dominated him today. I think today marks the day of passing on the baton. Last time also he beat uh, Novak Djokovic in the final, but many thought that that could have been a flu. That is a one-off. Remember, Carlos Alcaraz won the US Open 2022, then he won the French Open, uh, he won the Wimbledon in 23, French Open in 24, you said, okay, clay is not Djokovic's surface, clay mm. is Alcaraz's surface, so no one is taking it seriously. But now to win two back-to-back -back Wimbledons, beating Novak Djokovic in a final at that on both occasions says a lot about his, you know, because young players, Puja, come and we all talk about their talent. It's the mental fortitude, it's the mental strength exactly. that is sometimes missing in players. But that's exactly what Alcaraz has shown to beat Novak Djokovic in back-to-back -back finals. I think the new prince has arrived. I won't call him the king, mm. but the king is fading away with a knee injury. You, you mm. saw him wearing a brace uh, on his knee, Novak Djokovic, clearly not 100%. The king is fading away at 37, mm. and the prince really has arrived at 21. Well, both clearly still the masters of the game, and you're right that in many ways this is as much about uh, talent, but it is also keeping a certain uh, mental strength because you're up against Djokovic, who clearly has a history as a winner. But you tell me then, when you defeat the king twice, and this time again 6 to 6 to 7 6, where does this place this young player Carlos Alcaraz in the coming years and or possibly already with regard to the Wimbledon victory? Well, see, he's already won uh, two back-to-back -back Wimbledon mm. titles. And I can, you know, there are a handful of players in the history of the sport that have managed to do it. Now, look at, look at it from Novak Djokovic's perspective. He was gunning to win the Wimbledon title for the record eight times. He would have equaled Roger Federer's record. He's already won the Australian Open ten times, most by any players. But he was going to equal uh, Roger Federer's all-time record of eight Wimbledon titles. Seven is what Novak Djokovic has won. He's denied him that. He's won two titles. And if you're trying to ask me where he is in, in history of tennis, it actually takes me back to 2008. We saw a young Rafael Nadal. And why I'm making a comparison, both Spaniards. Uh, you had a young Ra Rafael Nadal uh, after losing in 2007 to uh, Roger Federer in the final of the Wimbledon. Came back the next year in 2008 and won the Wimbledon title, beating the king on court, in on grass court, in a Roger Federer. Mm. And then from there on, it started that Federer-Nadal rivalry, uh, you know. So, it actually reminds me quite of that, because Alcaraz is also a Spaniard, winning his second Wimbledon title. But dare I say, a Nadal finished with only two Wimbledon titles. This young man, with the uh, prowess that he has on clay court, with the ability that he's showing on grass court, mm. I think there are more than two Wimbledon titles there under his belt mm. and, and a lot more Grand Slams going forward. So, he's clearly the Prince. See, again, 
uh, there was a situation if you look at this match third set uh, he was serving and then was 14 nil up so he had three championship points and from there on lost that game and you thought okay you know this is novak djokovic's time this is going to go to a tiebreaker mm -hmm. from there novak djokovic is going to reign supreme if he gets that one set but then he got his composure early back third in that game got his composure back and then in the tiebreaker which is crunch time in the third set uh, came out victorious against uh, novak djokovic i think no tennis fan even if he's a novak djokovic fan mm -hmm. will will anyway deny this to Alcaraz because clearly the better player on the day has won. If you look at them shot to shot, hmm. temperament to temperament, today on the day, as great as Novak Djokovic is, Carlos Alcaraz was clearly the better player on the day and that is why he deserves that.